you look at a high speed uh, network we should not look at look at it as a rail network or a infrastructure project a high speed network rail network basically creates a large economy for example i'll give the example of tokyo to osaka when you move from tokyo to osaka tokyo nagoya kobe kyoto and osaka these five economies they become one large economy it's not 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 it becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 111 it's a multiplier effect because a person who is a component manufacturer in kobe can then go to nagoya and sell the components to toyota a person who is a designer sitting in kyoto can design the can very rapidly interact with the people who are manufacturers in osaka that's the thinking which we need to understand why high speed railway is so important there are critics who would look at the cost and who would say that no 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 our country is better off doing something else no the multiplier impact of a high speed rail needs to be seen in the at the conceptual level first first we need to understand that as a concept so when we develop the mumbai amdavad high speed corridor and in subsequent future there will be many more such corridors what we are doing in essence is we are connecting mumbai thane wapi baroda amdavad in between surat uh, surat amdavad anand all these large economies which in themselves are very vibrant and rapidly growing they all become one large economy they all start reinforcing each other all these big economic centers they start adding to each other that's the power of a high speed railway network that's what we should look at when we look at our why our prime minister has put so much focus on creating this new technologies and developing this new corridors so let let's take vande bharat now from keral if you take the example of keral from kasargod to trivandrum there are six large cities which are coming in now all these six cities they become one city they become like one large economy they start feeding into each other let's take the case of bangalore to chennai now bangalore to chennai people are preferring vande bharat trains rather than going by a flight and as we further improve the tracks the time will further reduce so that's the power which comes when a person can very conveniently sit in a train continue to work on the laptop or enjoy a book and very comfortably and safely reach the destination do the work and then come back to the train so the way we are thinking is going forward many of these large transportation and economic hubs they get connected by high speed high frequency train services for example if you take the example of uh, chennai and bangalore as the bangalore as the hubs two large hubs every practically every hour there should be a train which takes you from one place to the other then you don't have to think of booking then you don't have to think of like okay what should i do your mind is clearly focused on the work that you do best and let the transportation people take care of what they do best that's the conceptual thinking that we are working on and as to fulfill this concept there are multiple elements what are those elements the first element is getting the right trains designed in india manufactured in india and for use in india today and for exporting tomorrow so vande bharat train is a great example of that the train is fully designed in india it's a notch better than many other globally best trains on multiple parameters on the parameter of noise in the train sound in the train sound level is actually 100 times less than sound in a narrow train the vibration level if you compare the best in the world the vibration levels are lower than the best in the world the uh, the acceleration is better than the bullet train so that's the kind of 
thought process which has gone in designing this train. Second, making sure that the platforms are today world class, the stations are world class. Because that's where the huge congregation of passengers happens as it's like a spike for a particular few hours, there will be huge spike, then there will be a lull. So we have to design our stations in that way. Then making sure that the stations are connecting both sides of the city. Cities have grown beyond what they were 50 years back. All these things are getting implemented one by one. Today we are developing 1,300 stations to become world class. Very uh, few months back, Honorable Prime Minister laid the foundation for 508 stations on one single day. I think that's a world record. 508 stations getting redeveloped and out of that 300 plus are already showing good progress in the work today. Vande Bharat train manufacturing has now scaled up to a level where we are rolling out practically one train every week. In parallel, we have a large stock of old generation coaches, almost 40,000 of them. So we are creating a new concept. We haven't yet given it a name. Uh, we are creating a new concept where these old coaches can be refurbished to a level which is very good, very comfortable, very convenient and they can then be run at a significantly higher speed with significantly long, with better comfort and they can also complete their entire life of 35 years. A coach has a life of 35 years. So we cannot uh, throw them out. Uh, we need to use that asset which has been created using our public money. So we are, we are creating that concept also. The first part of that concept is already developed to push-pull locomotives which basically get fitted on both sides of the train, one on the front and one on the rear. So it becomes one complete train set and we are uh, working on the design for the coaches. Very soon we should have that design out. So in a sense, overall, making sure that passengers get good comfort, train journey is comfortable.